Shout out to Corsair for sponsoring our content here at Computex 2018. Check out their Hydro Series Pro liquid coolers at the link below. All right, so when we arrived in AMD's, uh, I don't know, hall or whatever, whatever this place is, this demo, frankly, it sucked. Um, I mean, they, they were showing off their Wraith Ripper cooler, which will be available separately for their Threadripper 2 CPUs. Uh, it's got a 120 millimeter fan. And I mean, really the notable thing here is that it's a 32 core processor under there and it's air cooled, but it didn't even have any cables plugged into the back and we, we, couldn't, we couldn't play with it at all. So I was like, really, you guys? I mean, come on. You know, like, come on. And they were like, okay, Linus, for you. So guess what? We actually get to show you guys not what it's called, not what speeds it's clocked at or anything like that, because this is still early stages stuff. But they are saying that it's going to be 12 nanometer. It's going to be up to 32 cores and 64 threads, though we don't know the exact other core configurations that might be available. We do know that it's going to have all the same extra tech built into it as Ryzen second generation. So that includes their new boost algorithm and all that kind of stuff. Although when you don't know the clock speeds, then you can't know the boost speeds. So performance is very much TBD. And what we also know is that it's going to be TR4 socket it compatible and a drop-in replacement for your X399 system with a BIOS update. Finally, they agreed to let us run Blender on it so we can see, yes, in fact, this is real hardware. I think I hit the right hotkey. Hold on. F12, go. Yes. So this is real hardware, 32 cores, 64 threads. So that is four by eight times two and look at it rip so this is a custom amd scene you guys aren't going to be able to render this at home and extrapolate the performance of it because there's still a lot of work to be done before this is released sometime in q3 of this year but if you guys were hoping for you know amd to one up the 16 core enthusiast overclockable processor that they showed off last year well, then yeah, that's the plan. 32 cores, and yes, it will also be overclockable. Also of note is finally an actual card. So there's a Vega Nano follow-up to their previous Nano card. Um, I don't actually know too much about the specs of this one. I think it's like kind of Vega 56 based. Uh, three display ports, HDMI, anyway. What actually caught my eye, other than Threadripper 2, of course, was this. See this? Like, pile of laptops? And then, like, also this. More laptops. AMD finally has a compelling enough mobile CPU that they are winning a serious number of designs with third-party manufacturers. Everyone from, uh, there's a Huawei unit on the other side there. Uh, Dell, oh, this is interesting. This is the first ever AMD CPU in a Dell Business Latitude notebook. Uh, this one's a little bit chunky and businessy. This is the one that really stood out to me. Uh, this is the HP Envy X360-13, and it is a super slim and yet fairly beefy little unit. So you got your uh, USB over here, you got your cooling vent here, micro SD. It's, oh man, this thing is crazy thin. Over here, you've got a volume rocker, Type-C, and another USB-A, and then of course, because it's part of their X360 line, you can convert it into a tablet should you see fit. Now it goes up to a Ryzen 7 2700U, that is a quad core eight thread processor, and its Vega 10 graphics is apparently running at the full 15 watt TDP of this chip. So the performance of it will actually be very similar, pretty much identical to its 14 inch and 15 inch brethren. Probably the most notable thing about this is that this notebook is an AMD exclusive. For years, at the very best, AMD got kind of a hopefully very similar equivalent to the Intel unit. But apparently HP is so confident in this design that they built a laptop right around AMD's product, which is like, I mean, Threadripper's cool, but this is where a microchip processor makes real money and takes real market share from their competitor. Speaking of taking market share from competitors, Corsair's Hydro Pro series coolers are their quietest 
ever. They've added a quieter pump, their magnetic levitation bearing fans, and a brand new compact RGB pump head with vibrant RGB lighting because, you know, you can't have the quietest, most high performance gaming experience without that RGB. So check it out at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't miss any of our Computex coverage by making sure you're subscribed, and we will see you at the next suite or booth or whatever. Which way is he going? Which way is he going? No! He got away.